You gonna tell Harlow I'm dead? May as well. I'm never going back to that life again. <sighs> Here, take the ring. And for what it's worth, my gratitude. Okay, take care, dude. Felix? Clyde Harlow, agent of the board. Yeah, that sounds even more insane out loud than it did in my head. Yeah, I know. I'm not sure what to think right now. You told me to be suspicious, but I never imagined Clyde would stoop to informing for the establishment. Then again, Trask knew he was a dead man. Could have been trying to shift the blame. Yeah, Trask said he had evidence. I can't imagine Clyde working for the board. But we owe it to ourselves to find out. Yeah, we do. Trask said he stashed the evidence in a vent back at the base. We should go take a look. Yeah, we should. Let's get going. Well, guys, surprise, surprise, we are running back to the ship. Hmm. You know, I think we should nip through Edgewater. Yeah. While we're here, kind of thing. It'd drive you nuts living next to that thing, making all that noise. Are all the deserters back now? Kind of feels like they should be, shouldn't it? What do we have? We have... This is this is this is Parvati's um, place. Thomas, hello. Thanks again for helping me out. Um, cool. Okay, so he's got a job. That's good. Who else was there from the dessert camp? There was Zoe, wasn't there? I mean, we saw uh, herself. And, uh, Wish we had some better rations. Well, At least you got your help. They're coming soon. We've done everything with you, haven't we? I've got nothing on my bounty board. That's a good feeling. Found this medicine. No. Wasn't gonna do that. Where haven't we been? Have we been in here? Oh, is this just someone's hat? Oh, you've got a name. Yes, Mr. Thompson. I'm fine, Mr. Thompson. Never been healthier. Martin? Well, uh, did, uh, did Mr. Thompson send you? No, he's gone. Well, you tell Mr. Thompson I'll be right at my post. Tomorrow. Uh, bright and early tomorrow. Because I'm definitely not plagued. As spry as a spring chicken. <laughs> That's old Abernathy. Um, you want to tell me what's got you so nervous? He thinks he's ill, doesn't he? You some sort of wandering alienist? Walking into a man's own domicile, pestering him about his mental state? I'm positive you mentioned something about being plagued. You don't know that. I could have been saying anything. Maybe I said vague. You know how words sound a mite strange when you're sick. Wait, no. Oh, damn it. Okay, listen. Maybe I am feeling a little under the weather, but I swear I'm on the mend. Please, don't tell the constable. Okay, just out of curiosity, why not? She'll toss me in the sick house. I would have confessed before the good vicar, get some ablutions for my spirit. Just never found my courage is all. Hey, you're hale and healthy and possibly for hire, ain't ya? I'd do a good turn for an expiring old man? Depends on what you need. Couple hours out of your day and some light second story work, that's all. There's a cache of anthracillin tucked away in the old community center. Powerful stuff. Stronger than what we got, anyway. I need you to break in, nab that medicine, and bring it back to me. Uh, I'll just say I'll, I'll do it. You oblige me with your haste. I think I feel the plague spreading. Oh, Lord, it's in my spleen now. I can feel it. Okay, I'm not going to hand this to him just now. I'll leave you be. Hey, I need to talk to you. Hello. Excuse me. I'm Esther Blaine, Spacer's Choice Actuary. Yeah. I overheard your talk with Abernathy. 
I hope you're not thinking about getting him that medicine. Abernathy is a well-known hypochondriac. Anthracillin is wasted on him. You're better off selling it to me instead. Okay, he's got symptoms or something. You're saying it's psychoma um, psychosomatic? All I'm saying is Abernathy's worked in this town longer than some of us been alive. How do I put this gently? He's, uh, he's got a lot of cobwebs up in his attic. Okay, and what do you need it for? I probably shouldn't tell you. Don't want you implicated for what I'm trying to do. Well, you let me worry about that, yeah? All right. Here's a summary. A lot of sick people in this town, and we don't have the medicine to treat them all. Can't reach out to corporate without crossing a river of red tape, so I'm reaching out to you. Oh, I get it. You need someone to smuggle your medicine under the table. Something like that. Look, I'm not in the habit of law-breaking, but sometimes you've got to do the wrong thing for the right reasons. Yeah, you're probably right. You're in luck. I've got that anthrocillin right here. Thanks. I'll see to it that this medicine gets to the people who need it. Here, something for your trouble. Nothing personal, but I hope we never do business together again. Don't want to make a habit of consorting with smuggler types. Something to remember you by. Charm. I'm more curious than I am feeling the need to be charming, Ash. I'm curious, who are you going to give it to? Somebody deserving. Silas, on account of him being out in the cold. Amelia, seeing how she's around people all the time. Anybody in the sick room? Okay. What do you do here normally? Oh, I'm an actuary. That means I keep tabs on a worker's living expenses. How much it costs to feed, clothe, shelter, bury, and replace your average human worker. Technically, I'm employed by the Spacer's Choice Department of Human Resources. Okay, I'll leave you be. Sick house? There's a sick house? Where's the sick house? Did we ever found that? The sick house? Where's the sick house? Where haven't we been in this place? There, maybe? Sometimes I wonder what I'm doing with myself. I know how you feel. It tucked away somewhere we've never been in the town. I mean, once they've cured everybody, nobody's gonna carry on being sick. There's Adelaide's here. Where the hell is this sick house? That's where we... Well, that's where we're going, I think. Yeah, that's the south door. Oh, my God. Keep your distance, friend. Sick house is no place for a traveler. Oh, right. So you're all... Well, I'm not a medical expert, but I would say you should probably get the vermin out of here. And definitely remove the dead bodies from here. Oh my god. No wonder people are getting sick and dying. I mean, you've, you've got like several dead bodies just... Oh. Open fire on. Serves you right, dissident. Did you just shoot? A you shot a sprat. Well done. Dissident sprat. Could you go through the rest of this place? Are you okay? Hello? Oh, she talks. I appreciate the company and all, but you really ought to leave. You don't want to be seen around me. Why not? Because I'm sick. Not contagious. You don't want to associate with people in the sick house. We're not worth your time. I'm in about as much trouble as I can be. No reason you ought to be tarnished by association. People are going to talk. I don't mind. I don't know which company you work for. But if it's Spacer's Choice, Boss can still write you up for fraternizing with an incompetent worker. Maybe you don't know this, but there's a real simple reason you don't talk to the plagued. You don't want what we've got. I won't get it. I'm not going to catch something that isn't contagious. You're sick. How did you get sick? First, I started feeling real low. Couldn't sleep. 
Couldn't wake up on time. Started showing up late to my post. Morale was flagging. I was showing doubt. Company always tells us. Weak spirits lead to weak bodies. If I didn't want to fall sick with plague, maybe I should have worked harder. Maybe I should have taken more pride in my work. That's ridiculous. I really wish you wouldn't say those sorts of things. I told you once already. People could be listening. Screw them. I'm feeling a touch faint. If you don't mind, I'd like to be alone for a spell. Well, look, Esther said she was going to distribute some medicine to those who need it. Esther's got medication? How? Did the boss get a new shipment? I'm sorry, it's just I thought we couldn't spare the medicine. Nope, I'm sorry. I can't accept help from Esther. If I deserved treatment, I wouldn't be here. No, you're wrong. Why? <sighs> uh, intimidate. Because I said so, stop moping and take the damned medicine. All right, you made your point. If Esther offers to treat me, I won't turn her down. Good. I'll leave you be. Strange lady. Strange town. Hopefully Adelaide is going... Well. To kind of fix it. We come out the wrong side. We have come out the wrong side. Oh Let's get out of here before I go completely bloody do lally. Captain. Felix and the vicar are arguing again. Well, that's something. Right, so uh, we've got Friendship Stew and Starcrow. Right, we're going to go and deal with this quickly, he said. Harlow's base. Stay safe out there. I'll take these two, I think. Felix, because it's his damn quest. And uh, Neoka, because, well. Neoka, we're doing right after this. I mean, we're doing her quest right after this. You know what I mean. So we're going to try and find the stashed evidence before we make a move. Before we make a move. Going to check for that. Then, if we find it, we'll confront him. Okay, there was... Yeah, here. This is the... Walked right past it. Okay. So that says... Stashed receipts. These receipts detail payments made to C. Harlow on behalf of the board for freelancing services. Included are the names of several freighters targeted by Harlow's crew. They're manifest in the sum value of all the cargo delivered to board authorities. Can I actually read it? It's cursive, and I can read cursive, but I can't read that. What was the... Trask's ring. Yeah, so we could lie about Trask. We need to have a word with Clyde. What do you think of the evidence? Looks like Trask was telling the truth. It's all there. Receipts for services rendered, payments, records, ship manifests. Clyde was a pirate for hire, and the board was paying him off. In typical board fashion, they left a trail of receipts behind. Ain't that just ironic? Well, yeah, why do Americans and Canadians struggle with this? No, irony's the opposite of what you expect. Look, it doesn't matter. I don't like being lied to. Yeah, you and me both. Clyde owes me, owes us, some answers. Something about this don't add up. And I mean to find out why. Yeah, yeah we, we're going to talk to him. I think this is going to end up badly, though. Somehow, he is an arrogant windbag, though. Hello. What's the word? Well, first of all, Trask had a lot to say about you, Harlow. Not surprised. Trask was a dead man trying to negotiate with his own executioner. He'd say anything to preserve his life. Yeah, guess what? He told me you've been working for the board. That's a damning accusation. Am I right to presume you have some evidence on hand? 
Show him the papers. Been bought off. Look, here's the receipts. Those papers don't prove a thing. We've all done business with the board. They own the whole damn colony. Trask put you up to this. <laughs> that miserable wretch. He's trying to undermine everything I stand for. I think you owe Felix an explanation. Listen to me, Felix. Don't go jumping to conclusions. This isn't what it looks like. Yeah, because it looks like you've been taking money from the board. It looks like you sold out, Clyde. Oh, come on, Felix. We've all taken money from the board. They run this colony. I can't pay my soldiers in ideological purity. If I have to take the board's money to buy my guns, outfit my troops, and prepare my revolution, then I'll do it. Hmm. Don't listen to his excuses. He's nothing but a coward. Clyde, look me in the eye and tell me it's not true. Tell me, and I'll believe you. Don't talk to me like I'm some common criminal, Felix. You're the one on trial, not me. No, he's not, mate. I don't know what kind of poison that snake dripped in your ear, but as far as I'm concerned, you've been compromised. Oh, you don't want me telling anyone else? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Don't. Okay, I guess we're doing it this way. Okay. I think they had droids as well, didn't they? Oh. Okay, these guys are pretty weak. I think we're all right. Okay, there was an auto mechanical. Whoa. Well, you idiots. I mean, I kind of get what he was saying, but. Based on what I was reading, I don't buy it. No, I don't. Which also means we can ransack this place now. Sorry, mate. This is... this is definitely not how I imagined it would end. Well, I was going to walk the away, but black, he pulled a gun. wet, and Clyde hated the board. That's something I just knew. Now? I don't know. I don't know what to think. You re never really know what's going on inside someone's skull. No. I guess you really don't. I've just got a lot on my mind right now. This is, uh... This is a lot to take in. I know, but... I always looked up to Clyde. The thought that he could be an agent of the board is just abhorrent to me. Hmm. <sighs> Not to look up to anyone. Well, you... 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 <sighs> yeah, look, I understand why you're upset. You feel like he betrayed you. Yeah, he did. And I'm not sure how I'm going to get over that. I mean, no, no. Get drunk for a start. No. It'll pass. Give it time. I hope so. I don't see this one passing anytime soon. You've given me a lot to think about. I'm going to be mulling over this whole mess for a couple of days. I'm glad I didn't go back to Harlow. I've got all the family I need right here on our ship. Well, I'm glad you feel like Thanks that. Thanks for your time, boss. Yeah, that's all right, sir. Yeah. Well, just none of it added up, did it? You know, the whole thing. Well, the board hates me. What's my discount with this? 20%. Probably sells... Yeah, it actually sells fairly good armor. Ordnance control armor. 400... Right control helmet gold. It's not gold. It is good sort of armor, but ultimate bolter for eight thousand. Why can't I hack these machines and steal from them? That's a bit of a weapon. Yes, it is. I've got a ton of crap to sell. 
Yes, we do. Although, no, I should go and sell it to the sublight vendor. Get more money that way. I get 70% discount there, meaning I get more money there. Okay, the toilet. We're going to be going back. I guess the sensible thing to do is go back and sell everything at Fallbrook. I think I've got a ridiculous amount of um, standing with them. But he he pulled the gun, not me. I didn't open fire on him. He opened fire on me, and well, if you draw on someone, it's only one way it's going to go, isn't it? You either dead or you you know you take them down. Which is kind of sad. Clear out Nayoka's old base. She's back. On Monarch. I am a dirty, autonomous digital astrogator, Sam. I haven't cleaned my internals in ages. Can you hardly process the sheer quantity of dust built up in there? Tell me you've seen worse. Ah! Um, we'll continue this later. Yes, Ada. Okay, Fallbrook landing pad, I think. We're now in orbit above Fallbrook, Captain. Good stuff. Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? I'd like to learn more about the colony. What part of the colony would you like to discuss? Uh, Monarch. Where in Monarch? No, nothing really. Okay. How can I take care? I require a functioning captain to run the ship. Yeah, nothing new to say. Interesting. You clearly like Sam, though. Sam seems quite happy with the situation, so fair enough. Uh, I, do I want to take Felix or do I want to take Ellie? I think I'll stick with these two for now. I, gen I generally like taking Ellie. Just because I like her dry wit. Okay. Let's go sell a bunch of uh, crap. And then... Where is this place? All the way up there. Oh, I also want to check out those cabins. Did we... Did we go there yet? I can't remember. Yeah, no wonder they never find this place. Hidden away in here. There's my house. Said you that I never use. Never it's kind of hazy when I think back on it. Okay, who do you want? Dry goods or... Not the bar. I think it's here. Yeah, this guy. Let's sell you a bunch of stuff. My dry goods come 75% guaranteed mold free. Or was that 75% mold free? Hmm. No rubbernecking. Make a buy or move on. Good, good stuff, you weirdo. Uh, let's deal. Yeah, 70% discount. So when I sell to him, I get a bunch of uh, better prices. Okay. Oh. That's a helmet I really, really want. That matches the rest of my armor. How much is it? it it's only 126 as well. It'll match my the rest of my gear. Whoa! 63 armor on that one though. Advanced defensive. Level 17. Level 24. How good is mine? Uh, 
Let's just check this out. Okay, I've got this, which is 41 at level 17. The other thing, though, 63. That's like the most armor I've got. Yeah, I mean, it's going to cost me way more than 123 to upgrade it. So, you know what? Hungry. I'm fat. No rubber neck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, armor. 41 or oh. level 24. So much armor. <laughs> Elite troop armor. It doesn't show what it looks like when you're wearing it. That's the only thing. At 17, it's like that. But that's only 150 bits. And it would cost me way more than that to improve another piece. So, I think I'm buying that. And we're done, I think. Yeah, we're done. I'd like the gold one because it would match. But honestly, you know, my stuff. Okay, it's not a perfect match, but you know what? That's a hell of a lot of armor now. 207. Anyway, we have places to go. Knock, knock. Go away, white. I wonder if I can go in there and punch that guy. <laughs> the weird one. Is it night? Do we want to be going around Monarch at night? I've got a place to sleep here, haven't I? Let's go back. We'll get a night's sleep and then head off in the morning. There we go. Nice, bright, sunny day. I mean, I know it's always... Uh, kind of covered up in here under there at least we got nice bright sunny weather well it does make a change you know okay so we have got quite a long way to go really in fact it would probably be nearer from Cascadia, but I want to check out the cabins. I th no, we did. We checked out the cabins. Would we be quicker going to the Cascadia landing pad rather than Fallbrook? We probably would, and then walking south. Would that be quicker? Uh, it might, but we're here now. You know, Nioka, between you and me, we know all there is to know about Monarch. What makes you say that? Well, you got your life experience as a hunter, and I've memorized every episode of Terror on Monarch. Oh, Terror on Monarch's a riot. It's all made up, though. You know that, right? Guys? Yeah, right. Next, you're gonna tell me Halcy and Helen weren't- This'll be fun! Nobody messes with you, boss! Fine, I'm just looting all the things, as I do, because reasons. Yeah, these guys are a returning bunch of marauders. So where were we? Yeah, right. Next you're gonna tell me Halcy and Helen weren't based on a real person. I won't tell you that, no. You seem happier in your ignorance. Couple of the guys, I'm sure there was a guy over here, which I will probably never find because he disintegrated. We get in there. They, it needed a passcode, didn't it? That place. That needed a passcode. We went back there. Is it with? I can't remember what it was called, to be honest. Ah, oh, 
Damn. Everything's come back. We can always go back there. We've got a big thing to fight, apparently. No. Okay. Don't pop your head up. Unless he's already dead. Everyone all right? Mostly. Mostly alright. Should be fine actually. So these must be a respawn. I mean, I'm I'm positive we came through these guys once before, didn't we? Wasn't there, is this where that safe house was? But we couldn't get in it, could we? Hunter's outpost requires a key. Key that we don't have. Okay, we're going past the boar stuff. Have you got a feeling there's something hidden behind the waterfall? Because I do. Well, do you mind? Gotta know. Got to know. Oh, hello. Something over here. I was hoping for, like, a treasure chest of... Because <laughs> there has to be. Oh, yeah, we're just... Because there is always a chest behind a waterfall. Everybody knows that. God, I don't know. Where the hell did this go in? Obviously now, you see, Starlight are running the place. Or, Sublight, rather. It's interesting, I like the fact that when you do things in the game, it genuinely does have an effect. It's not just, you know, crap. Did I not need to talk to Catherine about something? I've got a niggling feeling that I did. I needed to speak with her. I just can't remember what the hell it was about. Anyone? Can we save those guys? From something or other? It could be. I don't know, my memory is really going. Hello. Hand type no on CNC C and P datapad. Don't ask me about it. Not when he can hear us. Had to sneak this into your datapad. Delete after reading. Just be careful. All I know is Tammy spied Slaughterhouse Clive feeding the sisty some questionable meat. Awful bloody with bones poking out of it. Says later, she found a hand in the trough. She screamed. Now Tammy's been downsized too and the pigs keep getting fatter. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I can't help shaking the feeling. We It didn't give me a quest to follow on from it, but there was a thing where... Oh, God. It wasn't that. It was that we... I'm trying to remember what the hell we did now. Didn't we 
like help out those C3 guys? Can't remember. I can't believe this is like a normal way in here. Really. Ah, oh, well. Right. Level up, apparently. Okay. Those two are good enough. Persuade is usually my thing, so I'm thinking... Medical, maybe? Get some of those up. Leaves five... I'm going to do that way. So my healing works a little better. We should just go from here. Why have I got the... I talked to Catherine vibe. I can't remember. Okay, well, that was... Kind of pointless. Let's use the door we came in through. We're alright with sublight. We're probably not okay with corporate guards, though. Did we go up there? I think we probably did. Corporate trooper, yeah, they are not friendly. No, not friendly. How the hell do we get out of here? Apparently that way. Through the door we unlocked. don't seem to need the stealth thing anymore. Robot guards are gone, so... Okay, we're going off the road here. Cross country, so to speak. I think probably yes. These guys back again. Crap mechanical is. Kind of pointless fighting it now though. Mega Raptor done. Mm -hmm. I think we're going to have enough to fight pretty damn soon. things. This this was your cave. You did pretty impressive do job on the door. Ooh, here we go. I haven't set foot in here since. Well, I'm ready. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Here we go. Uh, in which case? Yeah, that'll do. Sharon. Ownership data corrupted. <laughs> no, okay. Mantis or hive? Oh god. Shh. So is this all your stuff then? Apparently I can pick it all up, so I'm guessing yeah. Am I gonna need a shovel? Well, you did a good job with the door. The rest of it's a little bit gloomy, I have to say. 